in 1965, EF started with a simple idea. Taking a group of Swedish high school students to England to learn English. Today, with its 16 divisions, over 400 schools and offices in 50 countries, a global network of 9,000 staff and 25,000 teachers, having helped over 15 million people to learn a new language, discover the world, or earn an academic degree, EF is the world's largest international educational company. EF English First is an important part of the EF family. With 200 schools and the plan to open hundreds of new schools in the coming years, English First is the fastest growing business in the world of EF. Product quality and delivery must be at the heart of any growth strategy. English First has therefore invested heavily in forming a dedicated and multidisciplined product development team in Shanghai who create state-of-the-art materials using the latest innovations in the teaching and technology world. From just three people in 2003, we now have grown up to 35 full-time members of staff. and 
also in the classroom for quick access for the teachers. The classroom companion was a regular whiteboard and a computer in every classroom. Now we're installing interactive whiteboards. Our goal is to have one in every classroom. An interactive whiteboard really allows teachers to get the students more involved in the lesson and um, gives them more of an opportunity to use different types of technology. Teacher Pages, which was introduced in year 2007, uh, makes teachers' job much easier. And we are looking forward to the new Teacher Pages. About the new school design, students very like the live classroom. They really want to know what's inside the discovery room. There's something special about the new concept design. The moment I walked into the school the first time, I felt a welcoming atmosphere. I felt that this is a place where children can enjoy learning. So we've just come up with Roddy's Little Phonics, which is just being launched and it's being taught over the summer. And the reason we've done this is because we've needed something for a couple of years now in terms of teaching children how to read. In the past, schools were just producing their own courses and trying their best to be able to teach the students the skills. But this now focuses on teaching young learners how to, how to read and how to actually decode words so that they're able to improve their language learning. Back in 2008, we didn't have um, an academics program. Uh, the responsibility was uh, for the schools to create a program for the summer and winter courses. But then in product development, we decided that we had to create something ourselves, something that was reliable uh, and that everyone in our regions could access. So now we have a full program for high flyers and TVs. And usually they use it during the summer and winter time very short intensive courses. EF is a technology company and so with the release of the iPad now we are uh, we also release our own iPad app. So we have one app currently for high flyers that has been quite successful. In two months we have uh, been downloaded over a hundred thousand times and we have many more apps coming soon so stay tuned for a lot more exciting opportunities for students to use mobile learning. The point of assessment is to find out what people can do. In the past, we've been able to find out what students know, and that's helpful, but if we know what they can do, and they know what they can do, that's really useful to them when they're looking at finding a job or getting a place in the university. We are creating and bringing advanced and trailblazers to help English learners to master English as a product manager, I will build a bridge between product development and operations and our key English learners work with them, hear from them, and thus polish our products from good to great. Create educational products that deliver effective and engaging learning experiences. The team of talent in PDO envision future offerings and we strive to take language learning to them. Inside the English teaching world, competition is intensifying and specializing at the same time. In the coming years, the market will consolidate while splintering into smaller segments with very focused service offerings. Bigger companies with massive R&D and brand development budgets will win. And you know what? English service will be one of them! Yeah! English first. Yeah.